Hey guys, it's Scott Ferry, and it's time for your Microfinger C challenges for this week. But before we get started on that, it's time to honor the previous week's winners. And for seed 9012, with a time of 2 minutes and 13 seconds, we have Nerly Plover, congratulations! And a shout out to Ty Plays Games, time of 1 minute and 56 seconds with a screenshot. And for seed 9020, time of 7 minutes and 33 seconds, we have Nerly Plover, congratulations! And for seed 9000, which was the point seed with 22 points, we have Nerly Clover, congratulations! And for seed 759248, going for the bingo with time of 3 minutes and 37 seconds, we have Forever Endeavor, congratulations! And for seed 759248, going for the blackout, we have, with a time of 40 minutes and 19 seconds, we have Nerly Clover, congratulations! And a massive shout out to everyone who played that week's seeds. And for this week's seeds, it's a boats, boats, boats week, so you need to come over into this side of the lobby, come and hit the sign that says load config starting chest per team plus night vision, and make sure you pop some boats in that chest. And the first seed to play blind for bingo this week is seed 9101 with the card pictured here, where the goal is to get five items in a row, column or diagonal, as quickly as possible. And this heat starts us off on the edge of this swamp. If you're looking for your boats, they're in the chest just above you at spawn. We've got a swamp and then a desert savannah just off behind it. Over in this direction, we have the beginnings of a desert savannah. We have a birch forest over in this direction, an extreme hills, another extreme hills with some snow in the distance, and a roofed forest with a spruce forest. And the next seed to play blind for bingo this week is seed 9116 with the card pictured here, where the goal is to get five items in a row, column or diagonal, as quickly as possible. And this seed starts us off in the ocean. Over in this direction, we have a spruce, oak, and birch forest visible, and a flower forest with some piggy friends. Over in that direction, we have an extreme hills with some floating blocks of dirt and stone with a oak and birch forest surrounding it. And over in that direction, we have a jungle with some extreme hills, some spruce trees, a desert savanna over in that direction. And there's a whole bunch of melons visible just over there in the jungle. And for the point seed this week, we have seed 9111 with the card pictured here, where the goal is to get as many of these items as possible in 25 minutes, which is when the game timer reads 1500. And this seed starts us off in the ocean. Over in that direction, we have what could be an extreme hills covered with oak and spruce trees. Over in that direction, we have a desert savanna with a cool looking extreme hills with a waterfall coming off of it. And over behind us we have oak and birch forests, some more extreme hills, a couple of cave entrances visible and some birch trees over in that direction. And for the practice seed this week we have seed 135847 with the card pictured here where the goal is to either go for bingo or for blackout. You can play as many times as you like and you're looking for the fastest time possible. And this seed starts off on the edge of this plains biome. We have an extreme hills with some sheep friends. Don't forget the boats are just above you. We have the spruce oak and birch forest just behind us in this direction. We have some more extreme hills with some cow and sheep friends on it. We've got a cold biome over in that direction and a cool little island in the middle of that lake area. So as your Minecraft Bingo Sea Challenges for this week, I hope you all have fun playing and I look forward to comparing scores with all of you. Goodbye.